It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> On Thursday, a Chicago jury declared Jesse Smollett really bad at acting. <laughs> Smollett was found guilty of charges related to staging a hate crime. It's the worst staged hate crime since my all-Christian production of Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> and in legal news where someone definitely won't get convicted, Donald Trump will be subpoenaed by New York Attorney General Letitia James. James wants to depose Trump under oath on January 7th. Come on, give the guy a break. I mean, that's the day after his big anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> According to a new report, a former staff member for Vice President Kamala Harris says that she often fails to read briefing material and is unprepared for meetings. While, you know, it feels really amazing to finally see someone in the White House who's just like me. <laughs> After the tree outside of Fox News headquarters was set on fire by a homeless man, Fox & Friends host Ainsley Earhart said, this Scrooge is not going to get away with it. And nothing has ever explained Fox News better than a rich white lady calling a homeless man Scrooge. <laughs> China responded after President Biden announced a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Olympics by saying, the U.S. will pay for its wrongdoing. You wait and see. But America isn't scared by your threats. And even though NBC is broadcasting the Olympics, they aren't afraid to let me speak my mind about what the Chinese government is up to. So you listen. <laughs> Trump advisor... <laughs> Trump advisor Roger Stone, who draws his glasses on with a Sharpie... <laughs> re <laughs> ...refused to cooperate with the committee investigating the January 6th attacks. Though Stone said he would be open to sitting in the corner watching the committee take turns on his wife. <laughs> Russia has deployed 90,000 troops to its border with Ukraine, leading many to believe that Vladimir Putin intends to invade the country. And no offense to Ukraine, but why? <laughs> Is Russia running low on tracksuits and counterfeit cologne? <laughs> At the same time, it's tough for America to criticize countries who take land from their neighbors. I mean, it's not exactly a secret where we got New Mexico. <laughs> The CDC believes the Omicron variant was first appearing in the U.S. during a recent anime convention in New York. Damn, the one time they leave the house. <laughs> New York City will require all children over the age of five to show proof of vaccination before dining indoors or going to an entertainment venue. Because if there's one thing a five-year-old can do, it's keep track of a small piece of paper. <laughs> After CNN fired Chris Cuomo, it was revealed that the former anchor has been accused of sexual misconduct just like his older brother. Well, those two are quite a pair, said Cuomo to a female co-worker. <laughs> Representative Devin Nunes, seen here, realizing a little came out on that one. <laughs> Announced that he is leaving Congress to become CEO of Trump's new social media company, which, again, just based on this photo, will be called Squirt. 